All right, guys. So you can see here I've got a basic one minute chart and I've got my order flow up. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and demonstrate the auto execute system or what I call the order flow X. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit it to go short. So if I turn this on now, we'll see as soon as I get three imbalances on top of one another, we get a trade, which is what happened. So again, sometimes there, now the zone is permanently there. Sometimes the zone can appear and disappear uh, pretty quickly when the stacked imbalances happen. So now we've got the short running in our direction. Target one is here again. If I wanted to move it, I would just click, move, and click. Another convenient feature of this to where I can always see how many ticks I am in the money. And right here you can see we're 16 ticks. If I want to move that back to 12 ticks, I can do that. Or 14, I can easily see what target I'm dealing with here. So I'll go ahead and leave it at, leave it at 4 points total. Again, the trade triggered when we got the stacked imbalances on the bid side short. Um, I'll go ahead and, oh, we are filled. So that's how it works. Again, just to reiterate, um, you enable the stack button, and then as soon as a stack occurs, it gets you into the trade. Let's take a look at what we're doing here. So we are going short. Um, kind of pulling back into these moving averages, but we're getting a pretty big push down here. So I'll go ahead and try a long for the demonstration of this. So again, the green border shows us that we have a long trade pending. So as soon as I get a green stack zone, I'm going to go long, and it just did it and filled us almost immediately. So, um, another great example there. Again, typically not that easy, but we did get 12 ticks there. And you can see because we had some numbers on this side, it's showing you that you really could have been filled on the bid side because we weren't just trading up with no, with no volume on the bid side. We had volume on the ask and the bid side as this, as this spurt happened. So hopefully that helps explain how this works for you guys. Um, again, you can do a buy, you can do a sell, you can do both at the same time, which just says you want to take the next available opportunity. Um, if you turn it on in the middle of, of a bar, well, you always turn the middle of a bar, but you turn it on when there's already a zone, uh, present it will not take the trade it will wait for a new zone uh, to appear or an additional zone to appear on, on the same bar um, you can also buy a um, sell stack if you want you would do that by just switching this to red and then doing buy so now what's going to do is it's going to buy a a sell stack or a stacked bid imbalance zone. I haven't heard of you guys using it this way yet. Um, mostly we're just doing um, you know buying the green stacks and selling the red stacks but you have that option if you want. Uh, the last comment I would make about the stack trade is that you can enter on a limit or a market. Now I recommend market because you know these trades happen quickly and if you choose limit, you know, you're not always going to get filled because limit is going to place a limit order. Um, but no, the fill is not guaranteed, right? You know, if you place limit order, it's going to have to pull back, you know, a couple ticks or whatever you set it to, to fill the order. Um, so that's it. Again, let me know if you guys have any questions about the order flow X and the other features. Uh, I will do um, more of an overview video again. You know, these are just standard buttons. You know, here you can you can do um, you can 
place orders like if I want to place an order I just click and click and now I've got a buy limit in down here I can cancel it um, if I hit close all um, so yeah you've got lots of different options in here man it's supposed to be lunchtime and the volatility is really picking up that's crazy um, you can buy on the close of a bar again you know more of a feature that I'm planning for another indicator not related to order flow but you know buying in the close of a bar is a very common technique uh, with traders um, so you can kind of automatically you know buy when a bar closes or sell when a bar closes um, and you got the bracket trades Bob talks about the 350 trades so that's a nice little feature to be able to quickly do that um, to place an order above and below the market with an OCO on it. Um, so yeah, really quick overview. The main point of this video was to show you guys a couple stack trades in action. Uh, and um, yeah, you can email me affordableindicators at gmail.com. If you have any questions. Thanks guys.